first bite. It doesn't taste vegan, to be honest. It tastes that looks really good. Hi guys. So today we're here in the Houston Museum District and we're going to try Queen Seed Vegan right there. Queen Seed Vegan is a hundred percent vegan restaurant and they also have some raw vegan options. The restaurant's motto is take a veggie break. So they're trying to encourage people that are not vegans or vegetarians, just like Sean, <laughs> to take a break from over-processed food and meat that are harder to digest for the body. This place actually opened up as a food truck and they've opened up the brick and mortar behind me here in 2012. So I'm very, very interested to see what they have to offer. I've heard great things. I'm looking forward to trying some vegan food in my diet, so. Finally, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Sandy's paying, so that's why I'm here. What? <laughs> that's not true. All right, so let's check it out. Yeah, let's go. First time here, she's uh, convinced me to try vegan food. Uh, you know, I eat everything. What would you recommend as a first timer? For well, a first timer, I would recommend for the first class panini, the garden fresh panini, or the latini. Okay. If you want more of a yam, try the Cali burger or the Big Tex burger. Okay. And then if you want something more raw, you can do the Dr. salad. Okay, cool. What's your favorite? For the panini, I used to go with the Zen panini. Okay. For the yam, the light, the Fondus Mongoose, the Big Mushrooms. Okay. Or the Mega Salad. Cool. And what are your, um, like the Big Tex, you said it's a, it's a sandwich or is it a burger? Or? Okay, it's the whole week Oh, wow. The quinoa patty? Yeah, bucket quinoa patty. Wow, okay. Um, saw so many options here. Okay, let me let me do, I'll take your word for it. Let's do the, you said the Zen? The Zen Is that the one you, you recommend? Yeah, Zen or the Garden Fresh. What is the, the Bombay? I just saw the Bombay one. What's that one? Like? It's like a, like a curry flavor sandwich with the curry chicken salad. Okay. Probably the salad, but I mix the salad with celery tomatoes. Let me do this, I'll do the Zen. I'll take your word for it. One Zen. Fresh pressed raw juice. Um, and then you've also got different types of uh, substances that you can add. You've got like sweet blends, super blends, fruit blends. So there's a lot of different things. Wooden cutlery, that's really cool. food. I gotta admit, so the raw rito and the rockin' tacos, very green, very lively. It looks like this kind of food will give you a lot of energy and I know for a fact, I'm not vegan, but I know whenever I do eat more vegetarian options that are vegan raw, I tend to have more energy. So this is really, really good food, I bet, for, for just for nutrition-wise. Then I got the Zen right here. That looks really good. Yeah. So I'm so excited. I have two awesome dishes waiting for me here. One I have the raw rito, which is coconut meat with zucchini bacon, sunflower sprouts, arugula in a colored leaf. So you see it looks really healthy. I really love the color. It looks green, healthy. I love it. Here's bye. Oh, it's really good. It tastes really fresh, healthy. You can taste the coconut. They marinated the coconut. It almost tastes like a little bit of curry. The colored leaves are really fresh and crispy. I think it's a really nice alternative to normal burritos. It's perfect for people who do not like meat or looking for like a healthier option. It's perfect. I really like it. So next I have the rocking tacos here. They look also really green, really healthy. 
They're made of a coco tortilla. It's supposed to be like a mutation chorizo. The chorizo is made of walnut sunflower. So I'm really excited to try that. It also comes with avocado, some tomatoes, and arugula salad. And you can see some onions as well. So I'm ready to try it. Okay. Wow, it's really good. It has a really like almost like a citrus flavor to it. So it's really refreshing too. Here you can see the walnut sunflower meat. And here's like some little piece of avocado. I also really like the coco tortilla. It's really good. Wow, I really love it. Mm. All right guys, so I got the Zen. It's a panini, fresh pressed panini. And the Zen has Lemongrass, garbanzo, tempeh. We all know I like tempeh. With arugula, carrots, cilantro. There's some jalapenos in here and lemongrass aioli. Mm. Looks really delicious, very fresh. I can tell like, a lot of care goes into this food here. All right, let's take a bite. I was not expecting that. It doesn't taste vegan, to be honest. It tastes very flavorful when I think of vegan. I think of things that are salads and, you know, vegetables that are not cooked. It's warm, very fresh. Jalapenos, everything has a bite to it. Look at all the layers and, you know, it's a lot of care putting into this food here. All right, another bite. I like it. So it's like a real meat replacement for you? No, I wouldn't say meat replacement. But I totally eat this regularly. You know, it's a sandwich. Instead of eating a ham and cheese or something, you know, I come and have this. This is very tasty. You know, it wasn't what I expected, so thumbs up for me. Hey guys. Hey. So we just finished here at Green Seed Vegan. It was super delicious. It was. I really love the food. It's really fresh food and I love it. I feel like I want to run a marathon now. Boston, here I come. You're the vegan now? Uh, you know, I can take, I could do this once in a while. I definitely like certain dishes, but I could do this once in a blue moon, once in a while, maybe more than, than a blue moon, actually. I could come here kind of regularly, actually. It was really tasty. It didn't taste like raw, vegan, you know, vegetable-y. Right? Yeah. It had some flavor to it, and the texture they got. The texture. Yes, really it was on point. The texture is on point. I don't know what they're doing, but it definitely tastes very not. not it doesn't taste like meat, but it has you know resemblance of certain dishes that have meat flavorings and such. Not meat flavorings again, but very flavorful flavorings. Yeah, and I was also impressed. We ordered three dishes, mm -hmm. and all had a different yes, flavor. Yes, they all had like a unique completely flavor. Completely different. Oh yeah, very unique absolutely. And different. I, I wish I had a little more space to eat because I would get a dessert and maybe a juice. But you can definitely come in and you know you can come for a juice, you can come for a meal, you can come for a dessert. Um, you know they have some seating inside. We sat outside just because of it, you know it's a little noisy. So to give you guys a good review, we wanted to make sure you can hear us. But it's also nice outside, so that's another reason. But you can totally come inside and eat, or you can take it to go. Check it out. It's in the, it's in the museum district. And Midtown's just a couple hops away, so if you're working in Midtown, you're in Midtown, you live in Midtown, come check this place out. All right? Cool. Thank you for watching, guys. Yeah, we'll see, see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.